This big kid was standing in a group of kids and he, um, you know, that I don't know exactly how it got started, but what happened was he picked up this littler kid and pile dragged him just like he'd seen on WWF. And he broke the kid's neck. Now, fortunately, the kid was young enough that it wasn't um, permanent damage. It took him, he had to wear a halo for a long time, but he did heal. But you can well imagine the terror that set forth that this kid created by pile driving a little kid and breaking his neck. And the dad of that kid was livid, was so angry. And he brought that anger into the process. And the, the kid who had done the harm was really, really scared and really sorry for what he had done. You know, that certainly was not his intent. They were messing around. The boys were messing around. The kid who had done the pile driving came from a family with a single mom, worked two jobs, and was really struggling to keep it all together, to keep her family together. In the process, the dad's anger shifted as he heard this family story. And the big boy who had done the harm said, you know, I just, wish I could play football, but we just can't afford it. I just wish I could do some kind of sport. In the contract phase, the kid who had a broken neck, his dad said, you know, I run the city football league, and if you show up next Saturday, I'll suit you up. And we'll teach you how to use that strength in a really positive way. totally changed the room. The kid was forgiven and he had a positive place to, and a positive male role model clearly, to have a better life, to make better choices. His mom was in tears, tears of gratitude of course, but that's the kind of thing that happens in restorative justice processes.